Welcome to this tutorial on one of my favorite apps, Flipgrid. Flipgrid is an app where you can actually create grids, like what you see right here with my book talk, where students can create selfie videos to have dynamic discussions in your online class. So I'm going to show you how to create a board and how to put it on Oaks. So we're going to start with our educator login. You can create an account using your College of Charleston email. And notice I have a lot of grids. I'm going to add a new grid. So you can name your grid whatever you'd like. I will call this my Oaks discussion board. And I often will make this an ELC, a public grid, but you can also do a school email grid. It just depends on what you're looking for. I find it's easier to do this one because it's easier for people to have access. Now you can create your very own flip code. So if I wanted to take that away and call it Oaks Discussion Board, it looks like that is available or you could do the CRN of your class, whatever you'd like. So I'm gonna hit next and it gives me some notes that anyone with the flip code can join and view the video on my grid and that a Microsoft or Google account is required to record. So you'll need to let your students know. And then once that's ready, I can easily just copy this code and embed it on Oaks. But I'm gonna to go to my grid. So here is my Oaks discussion board grid and Students love this one. This is how to say hello on Flipgrid. They always put this one in for you. So if we click it, it takes us to your end of the board and you can actually edit the topic if you'd like. When I go to edit the topic, I can change the title, I can change the focus, I can edit the recording time. So notice we have anything from 15 seconds to 10 minutes. For an introduction, a minute and 30 seems to be great. And then you can add video moderation where new videos are hidden from students until you activate them. So if you turn that on, no one can see them until you've previewed them. It just depends on your preferences. Then if you wanted to give students tips with the topic, if this wasn't just a hello, you could add some information here. You can attach things. You can even hide the board, freeze it or hide it once this activity is finished. Notice you can change the dates and then we have video features. So the style, I've always done selfies and videos. What that means is I can take a video and then when the video is done, I take a selfie photograph of myself as almost like the album cover, if you will. You can also let students add titles. You can view the count of how many times people have viewed the videos. You'll notice that student videos get viewed a lot and a lot of the time it's them watching themselves. So be aware there's a little vanity involved, but that actually helps hone their discussions. Sticky notes. What a sticky note is, you can actually type a script in and you can read from the script while you're taping yourself and then no one sees the note. I'll show you that in a moment. You can also allow students to trim and rearrange their clips. You can attach things. You can allow students to like other student videos, which, you know, could be positive or dangerous depending on how that goes with clicks in your group. And you can allow student to student replies. So I'm going to let them have some likes and I'm going to update my topic. And here we go. Now, as a teacher, I can record the first response to introduce this topic. So notice all of the information it gives me, and this is my sticky note. So if I wanted to add a little, hello, my name is Aaliyah, dot, dot, dot. When I make this video, no one will see this, which is great. So I start my video. Hello, my name is Aaliyah and welcome to Flipgrid. When I stop my video, I then can hit next, and that lets me, hello, my name is Aaliyah and welcome to Flipgrid, take a selfie album cover. So I'm gonna snap a picture of myself. 
And if I'm happy with that, I can keep going. I can also draw all over it. So notice I have a little pen here. I can give myself a little saintly glow. I can also add stickers so you can actually add emojis. We'll just add this lovely one right here. Notice I could actually pull it across my whole face if I was feeling shy. And you can also type using different texts. I think this one seems kind of fun. And you can move it wherever you want. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta pull and drag. I will continue to go forward. It preps my video and then it lives on the grid. So if I wanna give it a title, I can submit. And now my video is visible. So notice from my standpoint as the instructor, I've made a video for this board as a model for my students. It's right here and they can actually look at it. So when they go to the board, it looks like this. This is our Oaks discussion board. And here is a response. Hello, my name is Aaliyah and well, so I can watch this as a student and that's really exciting. I added a few topics to this because I want to show you how this works on the student end. So if I simply give them the flip code Oaks discussion board, that takes them to the larger class grid. And what you'll see is our first topic is up for response, but we have three topics total. So they could navigate to discussion one and add a video here. They can also navigate to their group project and add a discussion thread here. It really depends on how you want to embed into Oaks. What I'd like to show you is that every grid has its own flip code. So you can also embed one grid at a time and it will still take you to that topic, but then they can still navigate to different ones. So it's really up to you how you want to structure your class.